Okay, which is our lucky wagon? Is it the red one? Oh my gosh, look. Look at this purse. But I am doing good with the small, like small stuff, small stuff. Not gonna take up too much room in the car. Look at that, I bet he glows. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at this guy. I swear that is a taxidermied carp. I picked up this. Very intriguing. What's she finding over there? We don't know. We don't know. I've been a reseller for nearly 40 years, and I can't imagine my life without thrifting. I've learned about a lot of things over the years, and I love to share my knowledge and adventures with you. So let's go be profitable and make it fun. Hello, oh, it is Saturday morning in San Diego. I feel like a truck ran over me. Eight hours in the car yesterday was a little much, but I figured out why the traffic was so bad. There are some fires burning and they were there was an evacuation order ha huh. let's load up the freeways <laughs> and I just happened to have the timing to get stuck in it but so um, I did make it as you saw and now today is swap meet day as you see and uh, yes I have her with me <laughs> everybody's been going how come you haven't filmed with Jordan because we have not been able to get our schedules to mesh, but today's the day. We are gonna go see what we can find. And now I'm on a budget. Are you on a budget? You're on a budget. I'm on a budget. I have $300 cash. And we're uh, not stopping by another ATM? No. So if you try to stop by an ATM and I tell you no, you're not gonna get mad at me? No. I believe it when I see it. <laughs> No, no, truly. I mean, I've, I've got the car already halfway you want filled. No. I have the car halfway filled. And, um. My car's empty, though. You're going to store stuff for me? Absolutely not. That's what I thought. All right. So let's get in there. Let's see what we can find. Let's get shop done. To pass right by the ATM this time. No ATM. No, no ATM fees. We're going straight in. Yes. Okay, which is our lucky wagon? Is it the red one? Maybe it's the red one. No, but the brown ones are deeper, huh? I need your help to get your license. The brown, the brown ones are deeper. We'll go with the brown one. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Keep that wagon rolling, 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 rolling. Ride. <laughs> oh wait, where's the tickets? I have the tickets. And away we go. Let's see. The beautiful thing is, if we were in Vegas, we'd already be sweating. I think it's only like 70 something right now. 68. It's 68 degrees. Oh my gosh. And this is why people pay to live in California. Hold up. Well, this part of California, anyway. What'd you see? What'd you spot? Oh, that's cute. That looks so like you. It's not your size. Oh. Yet, so All right. Oh, look at the little, little skins. The whole bag of them. Oh, I've seen these before. These little leather mask things. You know what though? They're cool and everything, but they don't spark draw. I, today, that's my theme today. If I'm not like really excited about it, I'm not gonna buy it. I need to be really excited about whatever I buy today. I love that smell of leather. Yarn. Oh, wow, yarn. She's a crocheter now. Okay, I gotta channel a little Dawn of Hudson Vintage here. There's a few interesting things, like what is that stone right there? I'm not sure. What'd you find? Oh, is that a little, it's a little powder jar. CG. Is that cover girl though? I don't know. It says CG. Vintage. But that might just be the puff. What's it say on the bottom? Made in USA. 
Oh, well, that's good. It's cute. It's brass. It is. The no, mirror is intact. Definitely vintage. It's you cute. Can clean it's that great. out easily and put something new in it's it. It's very cute. Easy to transport too. Look at this little articulated owl. I don't see anything here that's like um, old. Looks like newer fashion jewelry. It's going to be my uh, thought on that. Let's look at the pins though. Oh, he's cute. Okay, we'll find out how much the pins are. Okay, here's my little basket full of pins that I have found. Two for five dollars. I gotta add them up. Oh yeah, and then Jordan found these really pretty bracelets, but uh, we're gonna get these. Hey, Jordan and I, we just scooped up some jewelry. Uh, we spent ninety dollars there. Um, I'll have to show you later. I got three pendants and four pairs of earrings, and then her, her bracelets were eight dollars each. Uh, so the pins I got two for five dollars and I'm super happy with everything I got so yay those will show up in a jewelry whatnot sale that's how I do all of my jewelry because then I don't have to know how to describe it and all that stuff I'm learning but I'd rather do it live and answer questions that way than like list it on eBay or something so onward we go oh my gosh look look at this purse oh it's not a lounge fly, I don't believe. Let's see if it's got a name inside. I've already lost Jordan. She like went on ahead. It's an, oh, it's an under one sky. I find a lot of their stuff. How much is this? It's $15. See, and I feel like I could get like 25 to 30 for that. So I can't, I can't do 15 on it. As cute as it is. Oh, surprise, surprise, look where I found her. Look at that. We're in the plants. I love the variety you guys have at your swap meet here. I would love to take some of these home. Do you think this could survive in the heat of, on a patio, in a shaded patio? No, absolutely not. Because it's really pretty. Oh. You hush now. Oh, he's so cute. Yeah, look at him. He's very cute. He's cute too. I'm only going to buy plants that are tortoise food. Oh, that's really cute too. Do you have one of those? One of those. Is that a lucky plant? It's really cute. Oh my gosh, so many. Dis I see why you get plants here because I, you, you got more potential for keeping them alive here in uh, San Diego. Oh, the ferns are beautiful. Okay, all right, must keep going. Oh my, she's interesting. She's got some age on her too. That's the um, Franciscan apple. Let's see how old this stuff is. Decent, decently vintage. Oh, he's got a little broken beak. Let's see what else we got. Oh, he's nice. This hand painted. Looks like some of the feathering has come off. It's, it's us! It's been a long time. Oh, he's pretty. All right, I like him. I'm into the wood stuff lately. And this is super interesting. So we will go ahead and put that in the pile too. Just realizing what these are. They are birds. They're teak birds instead of three. Let's put those in the pile too. Horsey. Oh, look at the little elephants. Oh, he's Raku. He's a Raku meerkat. We've got a piano baby. It's a small piano baby. This one is marked made in Germany. Oh, okay. Oh, I gotta be careful or my phone will overheat in the sun. I've had that happen before. Look at this little cat box. Oh yes, little lacquer cat. Like I know I have uh, cat customers, so this will go on a whatnot sale. Pretty soapstone dish there. Oh, look at these guys. 
These are stone. Five dollars. I love those too. Let's grab those. I'm getting harassed for uh, making a pile. Look how beautiful that is. It's a glass butterfly. But I am doing good with the small, like small stuff, small stuff. Not going to take up too much room in the car. Look at that. I bet he glows. She always is really good to me on pricing too, so we're going to put him in the pile too. Oh, look at him. He's a little vintage flocked nodder lion. It's 40. Ooh. See something you like, make me open, man. All right, all right. <laughs> 35, 35 bucks, and he could be yours. He could be mine. That's a flander. That's actually a really good price for that. I know. He's pretty awesome. What you got? He's in the cart. Look at that cute little fuzzy cactus. Very deceiving. You would not want to poke that. Ah, oh, these little guys are. Is Butterbell? Butterbell? Where's a Butterbell? Oh, jeez, right in front of me is Butterbell. Oh, that must mean butter. Butterbell, you're 2000. He's cute, he's cute. He's not sparking joy. The red ashtrays, they spark a little joy. Not a ton though, not a ton. Oh, are these the, no. And now I can't remember the name that I was thinking that they were. I'm going to have to uh, flash it up here on the screen. The ones you want to look for, they look like this. Uh, but they are a specific maker. And I just, I don't think that, the maker, it's spelled out on them. It's not just a symbol. So I'll flash that up on the screen for you. Got some interesting wood crafts. He's cool. I really feel like we are... We're going to have to break the not go to the ATM rule. I know. I know. It's terrible. Is he hinged? Oh. That's cool. I like him. I love this wood. What uh, do we got over here? I see some ducks. Oh, he's really damaged. That's too oh he's not signed good. If he was signed, I'd be wrestling. Those are not signed ducks. <sighs> Interesting. I mean that looks like some nice American pottery. I can see the chips from here, so I'm not gonna look any closer, but it is pretty. That is some really Art Deco looking silverware. It's monogrammed with ends. That makes it a top sell. Who are you? Oh, no, I was right the first time. My glasses are sunglassed right now, so they are Rogers. Over, overlaid. Sorry, I wasn't showing you, I was showing me. Go see what she's finding. Cow print. She does love her clothes shopping. Ooh, I like the color of this jacket. It's kind of my color, but it's not kind of my size. It's too bad. Oh my gosh, look at this guy. I swear that is a taxidermied carp or koi. Ooh, I know, no, he's a taxidermy. Yeah, he's the real deal. How much is your little penguin guy? That was, uh, when we got it, it was like 60 bucks. Now it's down to five bucks. It's down to five bucks? Yeah. I'll take him for five bucks. Yeah. It's, uh, I can't 
Artisania rinconata. Artisania rinconata. Yep. Yeah, that's the maker, yeah. Out of Uruguay. I picked up this. Very intriguing. And it does, I did spot a mark on it, like right at the last minute, right, right there. I thought I saw another mark on it somewhere. So definitely old and interesting. Got that for $4. And he had tons. Uh, yeah, those look like Dozer. I know she's already. She might be grabbing those. Uh, but all of this jewelry in here, some of it marked at like thirty-two dollars. Is what? Like that's glass. Glass. Italian handwoven. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we got some Laurel Birch. We got some Russian lacquer. Um, basically, got it all for like two to three dollars a piece. So I think I'm gonna have a cat themed sale. I think I have enough stuff to do an entire cat themed sale. Do you want Dozer to host it with you? Sure. Oh my gosh, you. You're adorable. You're wearing sunglasses and everything. In the middle part. Sunglasses in the middle part. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh goodness, I'm gonna have to find the ATM again. Who makes you? It looks very Nambe-esque. Oh, look at that. It is Nambe. It's got, it had the look and it had the feel when I picked it up. I do know this dealer here is a little on the pricey side, so I generally don't even ask. Now, the other thing she's looking for is a vanity. Ooh, I like this coffee table. Is it gone? Ah, oh, somebody already snagged it. Oh, is it an antique one? She wants me to come look at. Oh, that's a cutie. Let's look at the back first. Definitely antique and oak. Really pretty. Oh. I don't see that much work that it needs. Actually, it's in really good shape, if you ask me. Yeah, but that's, when you say major work, I think it's like not usable. You put a, just put a dresser scarf kind of thing on there. It's, that's very art deco. Oh, oh. <laughs> let's see that dovetailing. Oh man, this is beautiful. That's a great buy for 60 bucks. All right, she's going to pass on it. She says it doesn't match her bedroom. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Those are a little interesting. A little vintage flax. I definitely have to go find an ATM again though. Look at, I literally can just do a cat sale. I can get all the cat stuff and do a cat sale. <gasps> oh, I really like that. Simple yet beautiful. All right, $10, I'm swinging on this one.
French French glass. It's that port. I can never say the name of it. It's a big long name. Let's see if it says. Actually, this says it's out of New York. Made in USA. I was wrong. I was wrong. Now if I can just make out what it actually says. Oh, I hate sunglasses sometimes. Vogue. I can't read it. It does have a little chip on the rim. It does have a little chip. I just don't know if I can do it with the chip. They have nice things here. They have nice things. So much stuff. And I know I have a long drive ahead of me today, so I don't want to like, get myself too exhausted doing the shopping part of all this. Poison A. It's got a nice weight to it. Those are nice. Those are nice pieces. But I do need to go to the ATM and go get some money. I'm pretty much tapped out. All right, let me go to the ATM. All right, our cash is replenished. And I can shop some more. Oh, poppies, you know, poppies. Super popular. That's actually a Limoges brand. Oh, a little snail. There's a couple of companies that make snails. One of them being, there's a Wedgwood, there's a Lennox. And I'm sure some of the, even the bigger name, but that, that wasn't like quality enough to be one of the bigger makers. Like Stuben. It's cute. I think the heat is getting to me. Ooh. Let's go slowly turn. Oh, look at you, the geese on it. Nippon. Oh, what have you got? Depression glass. Nice little three footed, kind of like a dessert tray. It is, yeah, they can use it for cakes. It's a little small for a cake. But it could be used for a cake. I need to find out how much this is. How much is this? Eight. Eight dollars. We're gonna get the Nippon. Uh, I know. I see it. I see the. Uh, it's Talavera, I believe. Oh, look at these little salts. Hold on, I gotta put my. Oh, that's a nice cut piece. I think he would have had a lid. I think these would have had lids, actually. Look at all the little Wade guys. That's a large Wade. I like him too. Their prices are pretty good. I might, uh, I might, I might see what I can do on these little guys. They don't sell for much. He's like. Yeah, four or five dollars a piece. So if you can get them for a buck, I mean that's a nice flip. I shouldn't do it though. I shouldn't do that except for the big, the big seahorse. I am gonna ask about. Are you Avon? I think you are an Avon kitty. This is a pretty decent piece. Not signed. I'm not even sure what you guys are seeing right now because the sun is glaring, but here are some elephant little guys. I might find out how much those are. Some flower frogs, and it's interesting, there are some pottery ones. Like, look at this little, look at this little rooster guy. Let's make a little pile and see what we can negotiate. Some of these are like, pretty cool. Like they do have 10 on that. I wonder if there's any wiggle room. In 10. That is a definitely an older piece. Let's let's see what kind of wiggle room we can do. Look at the duck. 
kind of looks like Shawnee and the bird. And then what does Jordan have? What is that? Let's see it. Oh, it's like little four leaf clovers. Or no, no, not four leaf. Those are just shamrocks. They're just clover. Mm, I don't know about him. I know, I know. I always feel like I worry about, oh no, if I leave that behind, somebody's gonna be very upset with me. Look at that. Look at that dish. It's got a mark on the bottom. That's really pretty. Oh, decisions. All right, let's see if there's anything else we can add to that pile. Cause usually, you know, the more you buy, the better you can kind of negotiate. I don't tend to pick up the depression glass so much. John Perry. These are interesting. Crown to call. Hmm. You know I like me the blue. And there is a pair. There is a pair. They're a little scratched up. Kind of to be expected for their age but I'm gonna justify that that's what's gonna make me leave it behind. Oh, look at that kitty cat. I think we're gonna put him in the pile. Let's see who else has to go in the pile. I'm telling you, I'm gonna do a cat, I'm gonna do an all cat themed sale. I think I have enough stuff where I can find enough stuff to do an all cat themed something. Heavy. It's got an interesting glaze. Not marked. Not exactly sure who makes that one. Okay. Little shadow box. Is that pottery? No, it's metal. It is made in Israel. Lily. Lily made that. I love you, Marcy. Hobby piece made for somebody in love. I'm not even sure what you are. A dinosaur? little bird lacquer box probably made in India let's go ahead and put him in the pile too wow there's some mid-centuryness going on there it's a nice table for 45 oh I got my little pile of stuff for $50 which did include the table runner for Jordan she heard her name he's been the talk of the uh the shopping trip. Everybody's like, oh, the frog, oh, the frog. He'll go in her backyard amongst the mushrooms that she purchased previously. I'm always scouting for briar horses, for Rachel. Uh, got some ironwood. Getting a little hot. I'm getting a little, getting a little weary now. I start getting a little less ambitious with the shopping. Something really has to pull me now to uh, get me to ask about it, like maybe another jellyfish. How much is this one? It's $20. That's a good price, but not good enough to super tempt me. All right, we'll keep going. This is another vendor that has really good prices and really good stuff. Like, oh my gosh, look at this for just $25. That's really pretty. I don't know where I would put it. I don't really like the top. This is the thing. I like this part of it. I'm not super thrilled. I mean, and obviously I'm not going to ship that. It's really cool and it's Raku and it's a nice piece, but I'm, I'm going to say no. I'm going to say no. Their tables are usually just a real mishmash that you have to 
really dig through but there are treasures treasures to be found that is not a very well done nativity you just tell the faces this is what i'm always talking about look at those faces there's just something almost childlike about the paint job Ooh, who are you let's go see you oh you're broken you had a little santa hat on Oh, Pinocchio, it's a stamp. It's got the COA on it. Hmm, kind of cool. Oh, those are Disney also. I don't do so well with the stamp stuff. I've bought some before. I think I still have them. Lampe Chandel, Mount Vernon. It's a fairy lamp. See, they're actually, they're technically called candle lamps. We call them fairy lamps now. They were, let's get it open. Let's see what she looks like. I think it's just a clear glass one. Oh no. Oh no. You might even glow, my pretty. Oh, you're broken. See that? This is why you always got to look in the boxes. Very, very broken. That's too bad. I would have scooped that up because I bet that glows. But she is broken. That's unfortunate. Hmm. Art. Lots of art. Oh, we found the Mona Lisa. Look at that. Interesting. These look like somebody's like personal stuff. A lot of them. Not all of them. That's like a almost like a sand painting. It's under glass. Yeah, this Arnazi. Arnazi painted a lot of this. Wow. All right. Oh my, very interesting. What's she finding over there? We don't know. We don't know. Hmm. She's studying it. We'll get over and explore further of what she is finding. That's a bank. It's an old bank, but he's always oh, cracked. That's too bad. I think he would have been good. What'd you find? Oh, they're little opera glasses. Sweet. Nice. I was wondering what you were looking at. I like it over here because there's no music. I don't have to think about talking to cover the music. What's the balloon? Oh, is this a plate? Mm -hmm. Royal Dalton made a balloon man plate. Is this, this is Dominic John Mingola. Nineteen ninety-seven appointments. I'm pretty sure that. Oh my gosh! Somebody really, really filled that out. Interesting. Oh, there's lots of personal information in there. Ooh. What's that? Chicago oh, Public school Schools record. report, 1956. Yeah, because that's the way it used to be. It mattered. And a whole table of Christmas that we are not even going to look very close at because don't need any more Christmas. Let's see what is in this space. Looks like it's got some possibilities. It's a cute little piano box. He's very kitsch, but we are going to not pick that up today. There's a Joseph original, an older one. See the black eyes? It's the older eyes made in Germany. Wait a minute. No, represents Germany, made in Japan. I was going to say, they didn't make these in Germany. 
but something's broken off here. Her other hand is broken. This looks also Joseph Originals when they went to the George Good Company. Oh, you're a fun Santa. Ooh, can you tell I'm running out of steam? I think we're about done. That's a really nice mid-century smoky glass bowl. I'm just, I don't know why I'm just not into even asking about it. It's not something I want to ship, I guess is like part of the reason. Let me go over here because I see mushrooms. <sighs> mushrooms and a turtle. These are just like little hand painted. Yeah, like little paint by numbers, cute little guys. That somebody did. Who's this? Oh, there she is. It's a pin cushion. Oh, look at the anthropomorphic fruit chalkware. So cool. But they're pretty chipped up. Look at this canister set. So cool. I do believe Treasure Craft makes this one. I'm not seeing the TC on it. Not on that piece anyway. Let's look on this one. They are pretty chipped up, unfortunately. Hmm. I'm almost positive those are Treasure Craft. Very fun set. Brings back a lot of memories for people like that. Okay, this is another booth now. A lot of these are, they buy storage lockers, so you're just gonna see a whole bunch of different stuff. That's why it's like a treasure hunt. You just never know what's gonna be here, you know, mixed in the piles. This is the kind of swap meet I wish we had at home. Ours is not this good. Ours has a lot of just newer stuff. This one is just a lot of the really mishmash stuff. And we like the mishmash stuff. Dear Santa, the best ever, busiest Christmas fun book. Is it a pop-up? Oh, it's got little... Oh, it's like projects. Private pumpkin. No, Danny, no, you don't need it. You don't need it. Keep moving. Look at me. Moving on. What a great bathroom sign. Look at that. He has chalkware. He's got some age on him. Pretty fun. Look at this spot. It's $5. Something Jones. Looks a little looks like Butler Jones. And he's not chipped or anything. He's pretty fun. I think we're gonna grab him for five bucks. Oh, those are cool. Oh you can see It's a silver zebra. We don't need a silver zebra. Oh, look at this little guy. Little ashtray, I guess. All right. Found some really old little golden books. There are some Disney ones in here. The Book of Birds. Chip Chip, The First Circus, Peter and the Wolf. These are fun. He said seven bucks for all of them. All right, well, I have no idea where Jordan is. She has left me with the very heavy cart because she has this monster frog that she purchased. <laughs> oh, my, 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 my. 
These guys are cute. Oh, it's a shaker. Look at that. Oh my gosh, how adorable is that? I wish there was two of them. A little five dollar fetish fair. Okay, their prices are prices are good. Look at these. Oh, I love him. All right, we're gonna get him. Some of these pie birds are worth quite a bit of money. This one's only two dollars, and he's got a little chip on his beak. But you know what? Even if if he's not worth selling, Rachel will love him. I'm gonna see if I can get a little bit better price on this piece, but I do love him too. Ooh, that's Costa Boda. Yes, and they know it. There, it's tagged. Right there on the outside. It's a really pretty piece. This piece looks older with the gold. It's missing some of the gold. Somebody's shooting little firecrackery things. I don't like those things. They make me jump. That's an older piece. $8. It's a good price. With the owl. Mm. Ooh, Pyrex. Spring Daisy, is that the pattern, I think? Everybody knows Pyrex is worth money now though. You can't you can't snag it like you used to be able to. Those are pretty. Oh, and more jewelry. Lots of jewelry to shop here. What do you got? You do. And a lemonade. Ooh. Mm. My tummy is growling a little bit, maybe for a little food. These are interesting. MMA, they're marked. Ooh. Horse trinket box. Look, there's a whole bunch of your little cloisonne bracelets. I probably have some of those. I didn't know you liked those. You should come to my you should come to my whatnot sales. You could buy some. <laughs> Okay, whole pile for twelve dollars. Twelve dollars. That was. I'm good with that. I'm good with that. I just realized my phone is telling me my battery's almost dead. That never happens. But I guess I've been filming a lot. So in case I can't keep going, I'm gonna do my little outro right here and say, uh, well, not right by the music. Stand by. Okay, that's better. No more loud music. I can actually talk to you. I mean, it's still in the background. Anyway. Fun day at Swap Me and uh, be heading home soon. So stay tuned for a recap. I'll tell you everything I bought, how much I paid, and how much it's worth. That's coming up right now.
the moment of truth. Flex those muscles. Let's go. Let's let's do. Yeah, I know. I offered to help. I really did. She says no. She says no. Film it. <laughs> I know, but I have to explain why I'm just sitting here holding the camera and not helping. Because you're old, Mom. I don't want to I'm not you. that old. Wasn't that sweet of you? <laughs> so, just like that, he's in. All right, and now we'll just look. We did pretty good with just getting little stuff. I'm, I'm pretty proud. Wow, I haven't done that for a while. I am beat. I'm super beat. So we're going to go reward ourselves with a little uh, pedicure to soothe our little aching feet because that was a lot of walking. Are you happy with your purchases today? I didn't find what I needed, which is typical. Oh, I don't know. I feel like you did need a frog planter. I mean, I needed it. I absolutely do need it. It had to come home with me, but <laughs> I also still need art and oh. a vanity. Oh. So. Oh, all right. There you go. So we're going to go pamper ourselves. You go be profitable and get froggy. Make it fun. I am in George's garage because she has stuff to donate. And I'm like, wait, I have a thrift store. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to look through our shelves and see what we need to take back with us. Oh, boy. Queens, Country Meadow. Those are really cute. I'm also looking at things that I can make my little assemblage projects with, too. Um, this would be cool because that's less stuff than they have to go buy. I see. All kind of, oh, like, see, wouldn't these? Wouldn't these be really cute to make little, little scenes in? Who makes these? Gold. It's gold plated. Those would be cute. Hey, Mom. What? Some clothes? Oh my gosh. Sure. We'll load them up. We'll go through them later. We'll go through them at the store. I'll bet. Oh, Betsy go through them. That's fantastic. Wait, so wait, much wait. cute little stuff. More clothes? Wait, what? Do we Come have on. room in the car? I don't know if we have room in the car. Well, we'll, we'll make room in the car. Oh boy. Oh yeah. We'll make room in the car. <laughs> I haven't bought too much. I bought a lot of little stuff. Oh, like these. These are really cute. I could make... What do those say? Oh, no idea. It is in not English. Uh, but those are cute. I could definitely make like a little little scene. I want to have like large ones. I want to have small ones. I want to have, have them for all budgets. These look old. Wow, those are, oh, they're siesta wear. Those are cute. Yeah, we'll definitely bring those home. Lots of dishes. Dishes are so hard to sell. I'm probably going to let leave some here for her to donate locally. We'll hey, just take, buddy. we'll just take things that we know can, you're not getting rid of him, are you? No. I was asking if you wanted to borrow a carpool dummy for the way. Oh, home. a carpool. D I have, I have Rachel. <laughs> no, I, that's bad. I was not calling Rachel a dummy, but she, you made, you made it come out that way. Okay, so we're gonna package some of this up, and uh, I'm gonna take some stuff home. Hooky dokey, we are on the road, headed home. Rachel is my camera person right now. That's how she makes sure that I don't put her on camera. <laughs> We're getting a little bit later start. Actually, we I was supposed to come home Saturday. I decided to spend that one last afternoon evening with Jordan, and so I'm heading home Sunday morning. And uh, it should be a pretty, pretty easy drive. Um, if she pans to the back, she can show everybody. We are fully stuffed. We are completely, fully, fully stuffed. <laughs> uh, but it's okay. That was the plan. Uh, the only bad part is that I have to unload the whole car right when I get home because they're picking up the car 
right when I get home. Uh, so that's not going to be super fun, but we'll make it work. All right. We're on the road again. Let's go. Like that, she's got some chocolate chip ice cream. Nummy. All right, let's get back on this journey. We have about two hours to go. Yeehaw!